guys, welcome to Katie's classroom. Well, more or less, as you can see, I look like I'm in kind of a creepy little room here um, with an old lady lamp in the background. This actually is my husband's sound room where he likes to record music. And my sound is just, bleh, my sound has just been really not so great in my videos lately. So he suggested I try this. Um, I tried it out. I think it's actually working pretty well because this room is pretty soundproof and I don't have all the echoiness of my classroom. Now it's not nearly as cute and it's not technically my classroom, but you're in my virtual classroom, I guess. Anyways, I'm just doing the best with the equipment I have. I know my sound isn't so great sometimes. Hopefully this video, video is a little better, but no promises that this will be the sound quality in all my videos because I try to do them all at school, not at home, because I don't like to take my work home, but it obviously happens sometimes. And my school room is giant with concrete walls, not so great for sound. Anyways, we should get back to what we're really here for, and that is to learn math. So in today's lesson, um, it's a continuation of the series I have started on rate of change or slope. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into that, and I hope you enjoy your lesson. Here we have a table and graph that are displaying the same information. The table and graph represent the money James has earned based on the number of hours he has worked. So here's the graph. The amount he has earned is the y-axis, and the time he has worked is the x, the same as the table. The time worked is the x, and the amount he has earned is y. You can see from the table over here, they already gave us the little arrows for the rise over the run. It looks like we're starting at 35 and working our way up to 50. Okay, so from 35 to 50 would be 15. That would be our rise. And then our run goes from 0 to 2. Okay, so this would be our rate of change. If we're going to change this to a unit rate, we would get 7.5, telling us that James earns $7.5 in one hour. We can look at this, the table and find out the same thing. So our y goes from 35 to 50. Okay, there's a difference there of 15. It goes from 50 to 65. Difference of 15, 65 to 80. Each of these has a difference of 15. On in the x side of the table, we go from 0 to 2, 2 to 4. Each one goes up by 2. So again, we've got 15 over 2. The table tells us the same thing as the graph, that James earned $7.50 in one hour. After looking at just the first example, you might be able to tell that there is kind of a pattern that we can use um, when we look at tables to find the rate of change. And there is a formula that is given to us to help us. That is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So when given two points, xy and xy, we can use those two points to find the rate of change. So here's an example. Let's say we use the point from the table 812 and the second point, 16, 18. So here we would have x1 and y1. And over here we would have x2 and y2. So then we would use our formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You have 18 minus 12 over 16 minus 8. Well, 18 minus 12 is 6. 16 minus 8 is 8. This simplifies to 3 fourths. So our rate of change would be 3 fourths. 3 tickets cost $4. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry for the creepy face here. I tried to draw a pretty face, but it didn't work out so well because I'm really not that artistic. Um, but I did think the face was better than watching my face again with my lips not matching up with my words. It's awesome that I got my sound a little better, but um, my camera was lagging and I'm not sure why, so I'll figure that out. I'm sorry that I'm not going to go back and fix it, but my main priority is to make sure that these videos are up and ready for my class tomorrow. And so I need to do that now or it's going to be too late. So thanks again for watching. Um, and please tune in for the next lesson on slope in Katie's classroom. Thank you.